So I'm going to give you a bit of a timeline today of how my business and my life has changed. So I really think, so how old am I now? Let's start there, shall we? I am 42 and a half right now. And I think about 14, because I was in a play that won an award and that was my real first taste of at 14, feeling like, oh, the, I've, I've now, I've, I've left the school play scenario and there's possibilities. And that was when I started to audition for things. And wow, so yeah, nearly 30 years. That seems a lot. Is that right? 30 years, 30 years. But around 14, you know, I was taking my options. Um, I did GCSE drama and I did media studies. And there were only seven people in the class, in the drama thing. So you really had to think creatively. Because in my head, I was like, I want this A star. So how am I going to make this happen? I had to think about it in those terms. And then at 16 and 17, I spent the summers in London. And I did, um, I went to two different drama schools, arts educational and central school. And then when I was 18, I moved to London full time. And I was on my way. And I always talk about this, um, even though, you know, acting, I I have a very sort of uh, vibrant portfolio career, different income pies, but certainly the acting piece of it taught me is that you have to start right now. You have to get going. And very much when I started drama school, there was no like, oh, let's just come and play and have a nice time for the first year. And it doesn't matter if you fall behind, it doesn't matter if you're not very good. Uh, we, It was very much, we need to see the results. And they treated you like professionals. So from your timetable, from having to sign in, your timekeeping, from the people that they brought in to work with you, there wasn't um, that kind of student relationship where it's like, it doesn't matter if you're a bit hungover. Um, you don't have to come in today. No, 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 no. So then at 21, I left uh, five months early. I got two jobs back to back and an agent. And so I didn't complete my third year. I got my degree, but I didn't um, complete it. And then I was in like the land of, right, you're going to have to figure this out. And the thing with this portfolio career is that, say, for 30 years, and also I've been left drama school, how long? Uh, 21 years uh, this year. And I've been a coach since 2012. I mean, the dates are irrelevant. Basically, I've been doing a lot of this for a long time. Um, I have really relied and nurtured and grown my digital disco, which is essentially my online presence, my content, my personal branding, my online presence. And it's been a really key part of getting paid, landing work, um, making stuff happen, having repeat bookings, working with the same people again and again, and allowing me to have this flexibility where I can, A, have choice. Choice has always been really key for me. I I never wanted to... So the flip side is, basically, I love that each and every day when I wake up, I can have that optimism of what's going to come into the inbox today and what am I going to sell today? And some people might see that as absolutely terrifying, like, I don't know, is anything going to come today? Am I going to make any sales? And I really try and see it in the opposite way because when I get into that headspace, oh, it's so good because I start to look for opportunities. I start to prepare myself for that opportunity to be ready to welcome it in. So, What I've also found over the years is that my needs and my wants and my capacity has really changed. So I love choice. I love flexibility. I love being able to say yes at the last moment. Sometimes that is a bit hairy, but generally I put enough systems in place right now um, that I can do that. I love that sense of opportunity and possibility, unexpected surprises. And when I was coaching, when I was um, qualifying and I did that year of working every morning, every evening, 
every weekend. It was intense. Um, I had also a full-time job pretty much and quite a stressful full-time job. You know, the phone would always be going and I was putting people on planes and you know, you had to have your, your head in the game. You had to be across a lot of projects. And so I went from working full time to in 2014, say, I'm going to go all in. I'm going to go all in to my own projects. Would I do that now with two children and a house? Maybe not. But at the time, it felt like it was um, it was the right thing to do. And then Two months later after that, I was pregnant with my son. And I was one of those people who, as soon as I became pregnant, I absolutely knew it. And I just lay on the bathroom floor for pretty much the next six months. And then the first six months of his life, it was really stressful. He lost a lot of weight. Um, yeah, it was, it was full, full on. And then as it's kind of gone and twists and turns, and and my point is essentially, I want you to create a business that actually works with your life and not just works with your life, but is nimble so it can be flexible and work with you and connect with you as your life changes and what you need from it. So this business has been with me through debilitating morning sickness and years of sleepless nights um, when I had no childcare or little childcare or working school hours um, through industry changes and um, a global pandemic. And, you know, over this last certainly, well, 30 years, um, there have been times when my business hasn't been my number one focus. Some of that was going and having a nice time and being sociable and uh, going out and about in London town in my 20s. But a lot of that was when personal circumstances would happen, when there were deaths in the family, when I was caring for people, um, when my mental health was uh, challenged, uh, all sorts of different things. And so if you set these things up now in terms of your digital disco, you won't feel like you're constantly reinventing the wheel, having to come up with something else, be using your energy as the driving force of your business. How about we we turn it around and use your vi- your energy when you have it to put these amazing strong foundations in place. If you want to find out more about the digital disco and how you can design your own, come on over to my shop. There are two options. You can go into the online content as and how you wish. The great thing about it is there is so much in there, over 50 videos right now. But my aim is this is going to be a resource library. So anything that I have connected or if I have new ideas or if I feel inspired to add something in, I absolutely will. So it's one time payment to you. And once you're in, you just get all of the updates, which is great. Um, Also, there is an ask me anything option tied in with the second option, which is also good because sometimes you just need another pair of eyes and ears to look over what you're doing, to bounce ideas with and some accountability too. So come on over to the digital disco if you want to find out more and I'll see you very soon. Bye.